So we all know that brand new DLC weapons just came out on Black Ops 3 two days ago. Now these DLC weapons concluded of a brand new sniper, a couple of melee weapons, brand new LMG, and the Peacekeeper. Yeah, you heard that right. We have the Peacekeeper. The first DLC weapon to come into Black Ops 2 is now in Black Ops 3. It's not the Peacekeeper, it's the Peacekeeper Mark 2. So basically, in today's video, we're gonna be hopping into a game and I'm gonna show you guys how good this Peacekeeper actually is because it's a great weapon. So let's hop straight into a game. All right, here we go, we got the Peacekeeper Mark 2. The gun actually looks exactly like it did in Black Ops 2. It looks sick in Black Ops 3 as well. But first, I wanna give you guys a little thing. I wanna say shout out to the guy that let me actually use his account Aki his link to his channel will be down in the description make sure you go subscribe to him thank you so much for making this video possible basically just look at it and how much better can this get we're using the gun from black ops 2 and we're playing on raid the map from black ops 2 empire actually to remake stuff you know we got the mark 2 peacekeeper which is absolutely amazingly good it's i couldn't believe it when i first tried it out i'm really glad that they didn't make it too bad of a gun and it's not like amazing like top notch overpowered but it's pretty good i mean just look at the sight on this gun right now look at that that's the same exact sight from black ops 2 they made this gun so good from the barrel to the sights to everything it's just perfect and i'm so glad that i actually brought the peacekeeper back here we go we're gonna focus up on the gameplay for a little bit so we can do our best with it and you know we can just demolish these guys on black ops 2's raid remake which is really cool that we actually got this map it's such a coincidence i just found a match and this is the one we got so there we go looking good and by the way, if you guys play Fracture this weekend, it actually is double XP. So I would hop on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, play some Fracture, and just level out, grind out the game, get some prestiges and all that good stuff. I would really do that because double XP does help a lot of people. It's just crazy for me to think about like how exact they did this map. They even put the car that was there on Black Ops 2's raid. It's just crazy. Every single detail from the columns, from the the doorways from the size of the gym area on black ops 2 to now how there was a big van here on black ops 2 it just amazes me how perfect they actually remade this map i'm gonna try to focus up a little bit go on a little bit of a spree for you guys here because we do have hater as a streak so if we can get that this game that'd be absolutely amazing for us and i think there's a little guy swimming in the water and there we go we got his core files right there we're gonna we're gonna go deposit them or not no we're not look at all these core files right there if we would have picked that up that would have been awesome like so much core files people drop sometimes and they can't even get it to the deposit which is crazy there we go we got that guy there's another one over here can we get him too he went into the money room from Black Ops 2. We couldn't pull off the win there. We have to go on a little bit of a spree. We're not doing too hot right now. We gotta step up our game, try to get on a spree. It's just they come from everywhere on this map. And we gotta watch out with the lightning strikes, just everything. Oh, look at it. Can we get this two piece right there? There we go. Little good two piece right there. Let's try to find some more people around here. Come on. We got active camo as well. I actually didn't change the specialist, but it's not too bad. I barely use active camo, but we're gonna use it over here. Cause I like, I know that the enemies like to get here. Whoa, there we go. Watch out, we're gonna use this right now. Just sneak through a little bit. It runs out so fast though. I think there's a guy over here. Yep, there is. There we go. Oh, there's another one as well. Can we get him? Yes, we can. We're on a little bit of a spree. We're on a bloodthirsty. We just gotta watch out from every direction, really. They come from everywhere. There's a guy coming down there. We almost didn't get him, but we did pull off the kill. Ooh, there's a guy that went up there. I don't think he spotted us, though. Oh, there's a guy coming from the window. Really, man? Come on. You have to use a grenade launcher. <sighs> 
We actually ended that game 22 and 23. Not the best record of all time. The Peacekeeper is a great gun. I just think I didn't play on my fullest. I've been playing zombies all weekend. Cut me some slack. I barely played multiplayer, but to hop on some multiplayer with the Peacekeeper is just absolutely fun and, you know, a great experience to play with it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, leave a like down below and hit the subscribe button as well. Subscribe to Aki. That really did help me make this video. It wouldn't be possible. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Peacekeeper down in the comment section. I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. You've been the Case Crew, and I've been Case. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Oh, give me